Thank you for staying with us. Candidates of the 2017-2018 Unified Tertiary Matriculation Examination, UTME, are finding it difficult registering in Bayelsa State due to alleged shortage of computer systems in the examiner's Yenagoa office. And some candidates are appealing to the Joint Admissions and Matriculation Board JAM to equip its Yenagoa office, as Ovietemi George reports. Some sat along the road, while others sat by a falling signboard indicating the Yenagoa office of the Joint Admission and Matriculation Board in Bielsa State. Candidates from the eight council areas expressed concern over the registration process for the 2017-2018 computer-based test in a state with only one center. Everybody from Brass, local government, Kayama, Ogbia, Ikirimode, all of them have to come to this office to come and get their jam registered. So it's a very long process. I would advise that they should do it the old way, like cyber cafes can register us. If they should give a candidate, plenty of candidates in the Nigerian three weeks, then how, how will we be able to register jam when a candidate cannot use a week to register jam? Ever since I registered, I went and print my pin on the bank. I was unable to register JAM for over one week now. The JAM candidates say the registration process is slow, alleging that only one out of six computers is in working condition. I think the computers there are not enough, the systems are not enough. I think they said it's only six systems and there are more than 100 people here for only six systems. It's bad, it's too bad, it's too poor. I've already heard that there is the six um, system that is there, that is not all that is working. They should bring the one that is active, not the one that they will bring it, they say that the thing is not working, wait today, wait tomorrow. I'm tired of waiting, I'm even tired. This is my first time of writing jam, but the stress is too much. Please, director of jam, help us. State Commissioner for Education, Maxine Fefea, and the JAM State Coordinator, Joseph Obo, speak on the situation. The state capital is uh, revealing every day, expanding every day, and uh, our children who are coming up, thousands of them are yearning to go into higher institution. So we want to uh, support the, uh, the, the, the JAM office in every way we can, in terms of facilities and in terms of uh, uh, infrastructure. It's the few CBT centers we have that is causing the problem. At least the, the management has done a lot by telling us that uh, we should be using 10 computers and they made the 10 computers available. We have started the installation by the grace of God before the end of the day. Uh, the, the computer will be working. The JAM CTB registration started on March the 20th and will end on April the 19th this year. Of Yeteme George, TVC News, Yenagoa, Bayelsa State. The Federal High Court sitting in Abuja has struck out a case challenging the 2015 electoral victory of Yobe State Governor Ibrahim Gaydam. The judge, Justice Ahmed Mohammed, ruled that the case lacked merit because the fact that Gaydam was sworn in three times does not mean he is the governor for a third term as he was only elected in 2011 and 2015. As far as the law is concerned, my first term was between 2011 and 2015. And when I contested for the second time, 2015, it is now my second term. And but 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 these people are contesting that uh, I have stayed in office for more than eight years. You know, when I took over in 2009, by implication, I became a child of necessity. I, I became a constitutional governor. So my contested my first term was 2011 and not two, 2007. So they have been contesting that, and now fortunately uh, the, the judiciary has done their, their own part of the obligation to ensure that justice is done on us. Justice Ibrahim Buba of a federal high court in Lagos has vacated the interim order suspending the premier and some...